Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Come learn and grow with me. So today I actually want to talk with you all about how many positive thoughts do you have every single day? Do you wake up and just have all these amazing positive thoughts? Well, if not, I'm here to tell you that you can change it. Did you know that we actually have over 60,000 thoughts a day? Isn't that insane? But like 95% of them are actually subconscious. They're actually back in the subconscious mind. So we don't even we don't even know about them. So it is super, super important to become aware of our thoughts and to observe our thoughts and to know what we are actually thinking. And it is super important to put positive thoughts in our brain because what we think about is what we attract to us. And what we think about also pertains to how we feel because whatever we're thinking in our mind is what we're going to be feeling. So if we're thinking negative thoughts, we're going to be feeling pretty crappy. We're not going to feel the greatest, right? Yes. But if we're thinking positive thoughts, <clears throat> then we can be happy and joyful and blissful and excited because those are fun emotions to feel. But when we're feeling the other emotions, it is seriously all to do with the thoughts that are going on inside of our brains. It really is, you guys. The mind and the brain are so important in our life, and it is super, super important to get to know your brain and your mind because that is what controls the rest of your life, every single thing that you do. Do you know that your heart is beating right now because, and you don't even have to think about it happening because, you know, our bodies are so amazing, but it all happens from the brain. The brain is what controls every aspect in our body. The brain is what tells the heart to pump, but it does it automatically, subconsciously. It just happens. Same with when we breathe. Most of us are not consciously breathing all the time. You can become consciously aware enough to where you're consciously breathing all the time, which is super amazing because did you know that most of us aren't even breathing properly? Like we seriously like stop breathing, like hold our breath so many times and we don't breathe correctly. So it is super important to actually consciously breathe sometimes. And that is one amazing thing about meditation is you consciously breathe. You focus on your breath. You focus on what you're actually doing. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you exhale and you breathe out, you're letting go of all those fears, all those worries. You're letting go of anything that no longer serves you as you're breathing out. Breath is the life of us. <laughs> we need oxygen and air to survive. Our breath is super important and we should be super amazingly always so grateful to have oxygen and air and that our brain does so much amazing things for us that we don't even have to think about our heart beating every day. Because if we had to think about it, we might forget, right? <laughs> With everything else going on in our minds, all them other 60,000 thoughts running all the time. So today, become aware of at least a few thought patterns that you're stuck in and get unstuck from them. And the first key to being unstuck from negative emotions is finding the awareness, becoming aware that you're having the thoughts. Becoming aware, because once you become aware of something, that is when you can change it, when you can transmute it, when you can change it and transform it into something else. But it all starts with awareness, you guys. First, you have to you have to become aware of what it is that you are thinking in order to be able to change it. Because if you never become aware of your thought forms and your thought patterns and your thought processes, then how could you ever change them? You wouldn't. You would just be on autopilot, controlled by your subconscious mind like a lot of people on this planet are today. So change it today. You have the power. You have the power to take your brain and your thoughts inside that little, that big little brain, whatever size brain you have, and you have the power to change it. You have the power to put in better thoughts. You have the power to stop thinking about those other thoughts. Yes, it takes time. Yes, it takes persistence. Because we have the habit of doing it for however old you are. I'm almost 30. In a week, I'll be 30. Um, so for 30 years, you know, those thoughts have just been going. And if you were unaware of them, that's 30-year patterns. You know, it takes time to break through patterns. And it roughly takes like 21 days to make, to form a new habit. So if you constantly, for 21 days, you know, put in good thoughts, listen to I am 
positive affirmations, read amazing knowledge books, um, read happy things, read happy quotes, read inspiring quotes, all that for 21 days, it will completely change your life because you're putting in positivity. And when you focus on positivity, it can only bring you po more positivity because it is the laws of the universe. You guys, what you feel, what you are, what you're being is what you're attracting to you. So remember that. Think good thoughts. Think more happy thoughts. So how many positive thoughts are you having today? Say a million because I'm going to live in positivity today and every day to follow because I'm no longer going to wallop in anything that doesn't serve me. I'm going to go and shoot for the stars. I'm going to make all my dreams come true and I'm going to have positive thoughts in the process because positive thoughts are superpowers, you guys. So have positive thoughts today. Like, I am amazing, I am unique, I am brilliant, I am a billionaire. Say those kind of things to yourself every single day. Tell yourself you're amazing. Look in the mirror and say it to yourself. Write it on your mirror if you have to, so that every time you look in your mirror, you can see those positive affirmations and you can tell yourself them. And I am is the most powerful thing to change your life. You have to use I am in the present tense so that you're saying as if it already is because you have to act as if it already is. So that way it can just happen because in the end it already is anyway. And like Albert Einstein said, time is just an illusion. So really, you haven't everything you ever want. It already exists somewhere simultaneously. So think about it that way, you guys. Think positively. Think good thoughts. With that being said, thank you so, so much for being here and for watching. I hope you all have an amazing, wonderful, absolutely amazing, stunning day. The best day of your life. And with that being said, have a wonderful day. Love, light, and blessings to you all always. Peace. See you soon.